I think I'm actually doing myself a disservice because I've only seen the first episode of the Black Lightning TV show and I loved it, but I haven't seen it since then. What is going on Draw2 crew? Randy here with a brand new drawing tutorial video for you guys and in this episode I'm going to be showing you finally how to draw a DC character and that is the Black Lightning from the CW TV show. As I've mentioned I've only really seen the first episode of this TV show. This is one of those TV shows that came out when I was transitioning moving from North America to uh, Asia so it's just one of those shows that fell by the wayside never got a chance to see it but if you guys want to let me know what I'm missing let me know in the comment section of this video I'd love to know um, more about Black Lightning um, and what happens to uh, his family and all that stuff so let me know what you guys think of the TV show are you guys ready to draw here are the tools that you will need for this video you're going to need a pencil an eraser any type of white paper and black ink pens with different sized nibs for inking keep in mind three things as you're watching this video number one if I'm going way too fast for you you can pause the video or hit that slow that speed button at the bottom right to slow it down to your pace number two there is a lot of detail every time I do a real life character tutorial there's a lot of detail that I omit just for you know time's sake to keep this video shorter um, so feel free to add those details back uh, customize your drawings it's completely up to you it's your drawings it doesn't have to look like this tutorial and of course number three if your drawings look nothing like the actor who plays black lightning or looks a little different than my drawing that is completely fine as long as you guys gave your maximum effort and you guys are proud of your work that's all that matters having said all of that let's get right on with the tutorial all right, you guys, so to get started, I've got my paper in portrait mode. We're going to be drawing the black lightning uh, a little bit below the waist here. Uh, there's a lot of details to his costume. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. I hope to not make this video as long as I've been making vid my other videos because, uh, yeah, there's a lot of detail. And usually lots of details means long video tutorial. So anyway, let's get started. I'm going to first get started by drawing a circle. Pretty much the start of every tutorial that I do is a circle. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this straight line going down this way. He's going to have his head slightly tilted. So here's the side and here's the side. So you guys notice it's a, it's um, at an angle. And now the jaw, very squarish jaw. And uh, the actor who plays him, I actually don't remember his name. He's got uh, a beard as well. So keep that in mind as well when we draw him later on his ear is right here so that's good uh, we probably will need to extend his head a little bit higher up later on as well so there you go okay from here uh, now we're going to draw just a tiny bit of neck you don't really see much of his neck part of his neck is covered by his beard I'm gonna draw where the jaw would be in relation to the beard so right around there and then now we're going to draw from here, just like I said, just a little bit of neck, broad shoulders, that goes this way. And then on this side, slopes down a little bit more like that. Okay. All right. So let's figure out where the shoulders are going to go. I'm going to draw the shoulder. The circle for the shoulder is going to be smaller than this circle. Keep that in mind. And don't make this too long either. Actually, just make it right around there. I made mine a little bit too long. So there's one shoulder. The other shoulder is going to be a little bit tricky. It's kind of hidden. So let me draw this line first, and then I'm going to draw like a half circle right here. I'm going to make sure that the tops of those shoulders are sort of aligned as well as the bottom. Okay. So that's pretty good for the shoulders. Here I'm going to draw a line, and this is going to sort of dictate how the body is going to go. And he's sort of leaning. Uh, what I'm going to do also is I'm going to try to figure out how his back curves. So there's the back curve right there. The line sort of leads this way. Okay, so it's slanted. It's kind of leaning forward a little bit with his stomach. And then here's the chest. And then it goes like that. So here's... Let me bring that up slightly. Here's how I want that torso to look. It's going to kind of lean forward a little bit. Like he's got, he's got that uh, uh, pose going on. Okay. 
Let's bring that torso down slightly. Now here is the shoulder. Just gonna draw that for the for the forearm or sorry bicep and tricep here. And then on this side, it's gonna be partially hidden, right? I'm gonna make this smaller actually. You don't want your shoulder to stick out too much, but at the same time he does have shoulder pads, so I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. Now this, the arm won't touch the torso, so don't worry about it too much. I'm going to make the forearm go like this, and I'm going to stop right around here. That's where I want to end it. That's a tricky thing with uh, drawing these characters is, uh, do you want to, if you want to draw more, or if you want to draw more of the character, you have to sacrifice the details because you, know, you have time constraints making these YouTube videos. Okay, and then this right here, sticks out this way so I want that to go out okay there you go right here I'm gonna lower his back a little bit make him look broader that way okay you don't want him to look too skinny like that you want him to have a definite back curve like this and then a little bit of the the buttocks and then let's just make this go straight down. Okay, so there's our figure for um, Black Lightning. Uh, as you guys notice, I've sort of created, by just drawing these two lines that go across from shoulder to shoulder, uh, I've created where the chest should lie. And then here's where the abs go. And I think we're good. Okay, so now let me zoom in slightly and let's add some light details to the costume and then more details as we zoom in. So let's get started by um, erasing some of these guidelines. We don't need some of them, but we do need the center line because we want to make sure that uh, what we do is kind of opposite of each other, right? Okay, so uh, just roughing it out, starting right here. He has this shoulder pad that goes like that there. Same thing on this side. And it goes out to the other side. Okay, from here, it goes down to the chest line on both sides. Let's start with this one. This goes like this. And then, kind of tricky, right here. Um, like that. Kind of looking at two reference photos, you guys. Yeah, underneath the chest, like this, and what we have to try to do is create these, the lightning motif that he's got for his torso. But he does have like armor plating in the front of his chest. Of, um, so let's line that up. Okay, as we do that, let me erase just some of these, so that makes it easier to see. Okay, let's worry about this one a little bit later. Let's focus on this one first. Before we do that, I'm going to kind of draw out where the torso is going to end and it's gonna end right here, okay? So find this spot here and pay close attention because you also wanna find the same spot on the other side because that's gonna be uh, what's going to help you out. This right here goes this way, but you don't meet there yet. What you wanna do is go in and then down, okay? And then when you reach down here, let me actually extend this a little bit. It goes out this way and not too much because this is all like imagine his crotch would be his crotch would be right around here. Uh, this isn't yeah you don't want to reach that you just want to reach halfway down like this like the lower abs is what it is. So that's how you draw this thing right here. It's a little bit tricky but it does have that lightning kind of symbolism, right? Now let's go on this side. Now let's work on it on this side. And of course it's going to look different than this because of the way that it's angled. We look at it at a different angle. So from this point, it goes out like this and like that. Okay. Now from here, it kind of goes out to about here. So here and here. Okay, here you don't see much. 
just goes kind of straight up like this. But over here on the chest, I'm gonna make this chest slightly bigger. It goes like that and it goes all the way up like that. Okay. Now, again, we still have this as a center point, but what I want to do is I want to create a bump right here because the, ch the chest, you want to raise it so that he looks like he's got a bigger chest than the rest of his body, right? So here's that armor plating. Um, from here, he has this collar. So we're going to draw just a collar like that. And from that collar, actually, let's start over here first. We're going to go down to this line. We're going to follow this and then just right here, kind of just below the chest again, we're going to draw a line like this. And then we're going to make the lightning and I'm curving the lightning as I would because of his, because of the chest area. Okay. You want to bring that lightning up to this point right here. So let's find a spot right here. I'm actually going to draw a little square right there and you want to make that this right here reach this tip right there just a little just above the corner of the square that's where you want it okay now on the inside start here the collar goes out okay you want to keep a consistent size on the top of the lightning and it gets narrower as you go down so from here it goes down here now Pay close attention to how the lightning sort of follows that chest like that. Okay, to the bottom of the chest. It just it just shows that the chest is rounded. And then it goes in again. It goes out. Okay, make sure you're not touching the center. Down. This way. And then like that. Okay, I guess he's got a little bit of a dip here. It's kind of hard to see. So I'm just gonna change it up a little bit. There you go. So that's kind of the lightning on this side. And then we gotta do the exact same thing on the opposite side, pay close attention to where these curves align. So I'm gonna drop lines going across just so we know that we gotta do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Okay, so this goes out like this. And I'm bringing it actually close to the edge because we're not drawing the lightning on this side anymore. We're not going to draw like the edge of it. This is the edge of the lightning. So let's pay close attention. So it goes down like this, down, and it goes curves in because of the, because of the chest. Okay. It goes out over here and then Remember, you're trying to keep it aligned. I think I've got mine a little bit not very aligned. So let's, uh, forgive me, guys. There you go. I'm having to change it up a little bit. I'm going to erase that center line. Goes down this way. There you go. Changing it up a little bit. Yeah, forgive me guys, I sort of screwed up on that center line. It wasn't as center as I wanted it to. Okay, right here. There. And the main change that I did was I had my center line right here. And now I realize that when I do that, it's making this small, like, like this center line should be centered over here. So what I did, so I essentially just readjusted slightly by moving, just moving the center line a little bit that way. Okay. I hope that doesn't affect your drawing so much. Forgive me guys. That's a, sometimes that's how it is. You make some mistakes as you do the tutorial. Okay. So there's, the lightning logo. Uh, let's go over on this side. Kind of a diamond shape. Round it off on this side though. And it looks like this. Okay. Right here from the side of the arm, it goes up 
And imagine this is the bicep right here, and this is the tricep. What you want to do is you want to create this padding in front of the bicep. So there's the bicep, here's the padding, and this goes back out to the side like that. Okay, now he's got these thick um, gauntlets. Sticks out, right? And then goes back down. And this goes back down like this. And then a little glove peeking out from inside. So there you go. There's the gauntlet. There's the um, padding on the bicep. This goes up and then the lining of the, the insulation of his uniform actually goes out this way. Okay, and actually this way as well. Okay, add a little bit of just muscle definition and shoulder definition there. There you go. Okay, I usually start off with the face and uh, here we're just, I guess, doing the outline work on the costume first, which is sometimes it's easier. Okay, from here goes down. There's the padding on the bicep. Okay, right here, glove. That's where the bicep ends and the forearm begins. Okay, and then the gauntlet goes this way and then goes up and around. And then it makes his forearm thicker. There you go. All right, so now I'm gonna change my pencil, zoom in on the face and get started with drawing the actual details. I'm gonna erase that circle the bottom of that circle, I mean, I extended the top a little bit. And then now I'm going to figure out where the eye line is. There's the eye line. And then here's the nose line. Okay, and the nose, I'm gonna start off by drawing the nose and kind of where the eyes are gonna be, but I'm gonna color or I'm gonna draw his visor so that you don't see the eyes. Just the one less detail that we can, <laughs> that I don't have to draw to drag this out longer. Uh, feel free to add the eyes if you want to, okay? here and here that's where the nose is going to go okay the eyes are going to be right here and right here somewhere around there <laughs> it looks a little funny but don't worry about that because it's going to be covered okay line above the nose and then it goes down so it creates this shape the nose is kind of isolated the visor goes this way and then the visor goes this way as well goes up to the eye line and goes up high okay here I'm gonna draw a line going across and this goes up from that and same thing on the other side like this give it a little bit more pat like a little bit more padding like it's sticking out I'm gonna erase just erase those eyes there you go I'm gonna make that nose a little bit bigger you guys circle of the nose here just flushing it out okay there you go and then the lips I'm going to draw like this he does have a mustache above it and then the lower lip just like this does have a full-on beard okay remember I drew this line right here that's gonna be the beard so I'm keeping that in mind as I draw this. Okay, it looks a little young right now, so let's make him look older. And by doing, by adding the beard, right now I'm just going to shade it in, in the mustache. He's looking a little bit different, but this is a, 
course, the way that you color and draw the, the beard is going to be different because you don't want because he's got like short and trimmed and thick is what it is and it's not like uh you know what i mean it's not long okay down here what you really should be doing is drawing these tiny little lines like this and then just continue adding them until you get the right um right length and right thickness okay side of the face right here here's the cheek and then it goes down like this i'm going to do the same thing on this side here's the cheek and then just the hair and again you guys if it looks nothing like the actor who plays um black lightning on the tv show that is fine not what we're going for here At the top, hairline right here, goes there, hairline goes down this way and then towards the ear. Hair is really short, close to the scalp. drawing it like this for now but yeah feel free to add the short details if you really want to but just to keep it keep this from this video from not going too long I'm just drawing it like this okay ear inside of the ear goes like this There you go. Now, details on the goggles. Okay, we're gonna start off right in the center of the nose. Right here, we're gonna draw a little square. And above that, just this trapezoid shape. And above that, another trapezoid shape. Like this, line going across. And this is a simplified version of the costume you guys it's a lot more details there's a lot more angles to it than this okay from that now let's draw the where the eyes go this way and then this goes slightly up and then across to there okay down here goes across this kind of goes down but it also goes up up to that point Okay, same thing here. This goes down. This goes across. Down. This way. There you go. And then, of course, this liner here translates to that. And there you go. Okay, uh, around the eyes, I'm going to double up like right here going down like this draw a line here just for added detail and here okay and then here it's going to be covered okay there's a lot more detail to this like i said so feel free to add those extra details but for now I'm going to avoid avoid those details just to keep this going but anyway there's black lightning's face let's work on the torso starting off with kind of these the lightning and the armor around it always handy to have sharpened pencils around you guys okay right here it's gonna be the collar work on that collar a little bit I'm actually squaring it off because it's not really round 
Okay, and then at the top, above it, just again. There. Okay, two lines here on each side. Okay, so here is the lightning. Let's get that finalized, solidify it, make it, um, make those lines definite. Always paying close attention to the opposite side. You want to make sure that they're doing the exact same thing. But right here, like I said, this curve right here is not so much the lightning, but more so the curve because of his chest. Okay, once you feel like they've all kind of looked look symmetrical, I'm going to draw just a tiny little bit of line there so we know it's the center here as well. Okay, now let's work on the, there's like some patterns on each side here. Okay, we're going to start off by um, from here continuing this and going from here to there. Like that. Okay, same thing on this side, but you don't really see much of it. Okay, from here, goes down, changes directions, and it just goes down to there, like that again. So we're like zigzagging the line. Follow this line here until we get to about here. It goes out and down like this. This goes down and then up. Okay, there you go. Right here, I'm going to the line going in, down the center of, of this, and then out here. Okay, right here, this goes down, goes this way. As you reach the lightning, you go down the center of it to here, just above this square actually, and then it goes into the square like that. Okay, same thing on this side. This goes out along the, along the lightning and then goes out this way. Okay, from here, there's the line going up like that. Okay, so now let's do this on this side. There. Okay, and this line translates to that line. Okay. Okay. So here we've got this kind of an M shape, and what we want to do is start from here, the bottom of this square goes out to about here, kind of where this would extend going further down and here, and it goes down there, down here, and it goes out like this. Okay, tiny little jujube shape right here and here there's like this glowing piece and think of it as like looking like the superman emblem with a rounded top goes down so it makes this trapezoid shape like this so this is yeah like i said it's a glowing piece of his costume okay from this point you want to kind of follow the curve of the trapezoid that you made, and then it goes out this way. There you go. So that's kind of, that's kind of it. But it's actually not all of it. So let's go back over here and let's start working on like these side plates. He's got some side plates and I'm going to actually give him a little bit more thickness by drawing that. Okay. And here, don't forget, this is the side of the costume. 
Now, he's got like this plating that goes down this way. So I'm going to start right here, goes down. And then it just sort of goes down like this to the, to the waistline. Okay, and then there. So that's kind of its own separate little plate. And then here, there's like this awkward shape that it makes, okay? I'm gonna start over here and it actually creates like a plate. This layer is on top of this layer here. This goes down and then it curves right here. You see where this corner is? So you kind of curve around that corner and then it just goes this way. And I'm going to end it right there. Okay, this goes out this way and then down like that. Okay, on this side, I'm just going to draw a line so it makes this look thicker. Same thing here and then here. I'm gonna draw a circle right there. Okay, now beneath the chest, I'm going to draw a series of striped lines going down to the waist and he's actually got another armor plating in the back let's just draw like this kind of follows the back and then goes in there and then comes out over here So that's good for that, you guys. Over here, we're gonna sticks out a little bit. There. Now, here, line there, that's good. He's got like a, a crotch piece, but I'm not going to bother drawing it. Yeah, you don't really see this on the other side. So that's good for that. Now let's work on, let's do the shoulder part that we kind of skipped right here. I'm going to create like a thickness to it by adding some lines there. Now you see it kind of looks 3D and it sticks out. That's that. And then this diagonal diamond shape and same thing on this side. There you go. Okay, shoulder. I'm going to draw another, I'm going to draw a line from here to here and then another diamond shaped, like clear looking translucent piece right here. It looks like that. Okay, from here, just a series of lines going this way and it goes out. And another one here. I'm going to end, I'm actually going to end it right there. There you go. Okay. Right here, I'm going to draw a line going this way and I'm actually going to, yeah, make those lines follow that line. And he does have like this intricate pattern of circuits and stuff on his uh, on the lining of his costume so let's work on well let's do this first the bicep and then let's work on that patterning we're going to try to make it simple so double up here i'm going to draw two lines as i go and same thing at the bottom two lines as i go to the other side okay here is some padding. So I just drew like this. So it just looks different than the rest. So it just looks like that. And then same material as the shoulder, I'm going to do over here. There. Okay. Again, over here, same material as here. OK, 
Okay, so now the circuits. It's a kind of intricate and I'm going to simplify it by just creating a whole bunch of lines that it's hard for me to describe it, to be honest with you guys. It's like just computer circuits going across like that. And then here, and at the ends of them, I'm drawing these dots and I'm doing them diagonally. And they all kind of line up with each other. Just like that, it's kind of complicated, so it's necessary to simplify it. And this is the best way I can think of to simplify it, is just to create these patterns and then just random lines. I'm not even thinking about where I'm putting the lines. I'm just creating uh, what looks like computer circuits. And then of course you do the same thing down over here. But I'm gonna make those lines go down instead some go up, some go down, don't forget, some go across. Okay, now we're kind of almost done. Let's get to the gauntlet here and we're only gonna draw the top part. This is also like a very detailed piece. Um, starting off right here i'm going to kind of do that so it divides the gauntlet this goes down this way again and then this one goes there okay right here this goes this way and then down again so it's following that same pattern but right here, I left this space big because it's going to have the lightning logo on it or lightning kind of motif. It goes this way, across, and then down, okay? Okay, right here, I'm just gonna create this cascading kind of um, ladders. That's what that is. Okay, and right here, this right here, if you guys really care to add more details to your drawings, is actually the exact same pattern as over here and over here. So diamond shapes all the way. Okay. Now on this side, diamond shape, the uh, diamond shaped, uh, what do you call it, shoulder pads. You don't really see the diamond shape of it, you just see kind of the outline of it like that. Okay, same thing over here, got the bicep thing going, double up on this line at the top and the line at the bottom. Right here, we've got that same pattern. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Line going down this way. Okay, right here, don't forget that same
diamond shape pattern. Double up on this. This goes this way and then down. It makes a nice smooth curve like that. Okay, and then this goes this way and then down. And then lightning and then down again. There you go. Okay, and so the last thing we're going to do is like the, um, what do you call it, the circuitry pattern. And again, same thing, very random. Just make it kind of 90 degrees with each other. Simplest way to do it. And you guys, that is as simple as I can make it uh, without extending this video any further, any longer. That is how you draw black lightning from the brand new, well, it's not brand new, the newest CW TV series. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, stay tuned. I will be doing two more DC tutorials after this. And you guys, that is all the time that we have for this tutorial video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the very end. That helps this channel out a lot. Now, if you guys are proud of your black lightning drawings, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community, post your artwork there, or go to Instagram and tag me in your posts at draw Two so that I can see your artwork. If you guys are at all curious about the equipment that I use to do my uh, videos or to make my tutorials, I have a link down in the description of this video that shows all the tools that I use for those things. So feel free to check it out if you want to. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal. If you liked this video, comment it down below or share this with your friends in your social media. And of course, speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Google Plus, and most importantly, on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of the black lightning as seen in this tutorial video. Again, you guys, links to all of that are down in the description. So make sure to always read the description. Um, I think that's it. Having said all of that, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial video.